Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember... I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. What's up, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Horror with Sir Sturdy. And I got some new shit now, people. I am on a network that is my network and my boys' network. We have some awesome people on this team, but it's called the Z Network, and it's for content creators. So if you're an independent content creator, definitely contact us. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I know we didn't have, like, a huge announcement like we should have, but you're going to start hearing about it every single time I drop something. So, yes, Horror Research 30 of the Z Network and the Horror Research 30 podcast. And I have another announcement really quick, which, again, you guys will probably know because you'll just, just listen. Just just listen, people. I'll be putting out more videos and stuff. But um, starting a second podcast, another podcast, which will be strictly for the Z Network. Do not have a, I do not have a name for it yet. Um publicist his name is steve he always sends me some awesome horror guests and he sent me a guest that's going to be in a movie i believe it's called concrete cowboys with Edris elba and method man no he didn't send me either one of those two he sent me an awesome lady her name is elizabeth and uh i'm going to be interviewing her next week which by the time this episode comes out it'll already be out and everything but uh anyway so yeah i'm gonna start another podcast it's gonna be movies movie reviews and interviews for non-horror but it's got to be a multi-host video or sorry podcast so you will not just see me on there doing movie reviews or interviews you will see whoever whoever honestly whoever wants to jump on there that's on the z network and do a review and all that other good stuff but uh yeah without further ado i do i do do james and i are reviewing the texas chainsaw massacre and i mean had you, I just think this cover right here is pretty cool, and then this right here, you know. Oh yeah, the, the classic scene. The grab, yeah. This is this is how James got his wife. She yeah. was inside the front door one day, and he just grabbed her and yeah. brought her inside. It only it only takes a couple of weeks before they break. Yeah, with yeah. consent. Yeah, with consent. And does she love cheese like you do? She likes cheese. She's there. white. <laughs> <laughs> she likes cheese. She's- he gave her cheese. Hey, that's why he was bringing her inside to give her cheese. Or, or maybe she ate the last piece of cheese and he was pissed off. She tried to run out. Actually, no, nope. she didn't give her cheese. She's she's more of a fried chicken. Fried oh, food. Fried chicken is so delicious. Oh. You married the right one, James. Yeah. Good job. And that, <laughs> that, that uh, pistachio cupcake. Oh, oh yeah. Those are amazing. <sighs> it's been a while. One, I didn't have them in a while too, so. Me either. Last time I had them was at the well, the work function. Yeah. I told you, she makes them for other people. I'm married. I'm here every day. She don't make me nothing. <laughs> she loves you. She doesn't like you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she just tolerates you. She's like, well, he makes good money, even though I make more. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. That's true fact right there, too. Hey, hey, hey man, there's nothing, yeah, nothing wrong with that. 
No. Nope. Telling you guys right now, and I know James is with me. If his wife or if not in the same, I mean, put it this way: we're, we're the type of guys, and there's nothing wrong with this. If our wives made enough money to where they said, "Listen, we want you. To, you can. We make more than enough money. To, we're, we're living very, very comfortably. Quit your job. You just have to keep the house clean. Shit, peace. <laughs> exactly. I'm calling right now. Yep. <laughs> like right now, I know it's eight eight twenty five at night. I'll call. Like, listen, yeah, I'm not coming in anymore. <laughs> yeah. I've got two week notice. Yet. Yeah. Mm. Like why not? Because my wife is making some amazing money right now. I don't need to work. I just have to, you know, podcast and clean up and stuff and cook. I can do that. <laughs> hey. I always said though, like if I won, like say, you know how the Powerball was like in like almost a billion dollars or some shit or two yeah. billion or whatever the hell it was. I said if I w- ever won that, I was gonna go out big. I'll go to like fucking work and flip tables and shit and like say fuck you, see you. <laughs> yeah, but you work from home now. <laughs> so now you've been hey, doing that at home. I'll, I'll do a big. I'll put a giant email or I'll do like a giant video conference. That would be hilarious. Fuck you all. That would be hilarious. What? And that's the thing is, I don't, I don't hate my job. It's just, you don't have to work no more, so you got to go out big, you know? Yeah. I, would pr- I don't know what I would do, honestly. I don't, I don't know if I'd do I probably wouldn't do anything too, too crazy. But I, I'd probably just, uh, you know, go into work and just do nothing all day. If I, if I decide to stay there for the day, just do nothing all day but eat. <laughs> or just Take a couple of naps. <laughs> yeah. What you got to do, fire me? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, my phone all day. Like, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. I just don't feel like... Who knows? Though? It depends on my mood, too. But let's dive into this movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. White people, I know this is from the 70s, but stop picking up hitchhikers. That's white true. hitchhikers. That's true facts. Like, this guy has blood on his face. From what I assume is blood on his face. He has something on his face. He had a shit stain. And you pick them up. And it's just... I'll tell you right now though, if I pick up a, if I'm nice enough to pick up a hitchhiker and then I kick and I kick him out of my vehicle for whatever reason, and I'm in a vehicle with a bunch of people, and he's kicking my shit, we're jumping out and we're whooping his ass. You know how I feel about my vehicles, James. I, I was thinking that too. I was like, I don't know, is people too respectful in the seventies? For one, he would have never made it out of the van. As soon as he sent a fire in the van, he would have oh, got kicked yeah. in the face. As soon as he cut himself, he would we would people would have said, What the fuck is wrong with you doing kicked in the face? Then he cut the one dude. And they, that's all they did was let him out of the van? No, yeah. he would have never made it out. He would have exactly. been done. Exactly. And, I mean, I know, I do know, I don't know for a fact, but I do know, like, I believe back in those days, they did really, people really did hitchhike a lot more than they do now. And they oh, did yeah, of hitchhikers. Yeah. I mean, some of them were successful as far as getting to their destination safely and all that stuff and nobody was harmed. But then there's a lot of times where people were raped, murder, raped and murdered. And I'm just like... Mm-hmm. It's, it seems crazy because you've heard – I've heard older people telling stories about how they've hitched, like, from, like, say, New York to California. Like, the fuck? Why? That's ballsy. That is ballsy. I was about to say that. You have to have some – Or drugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with drugs. Mm-hmm. I got fucking meth or something. They're like, I'm going to California. The 70s? I mean, I don't know. The 70s I was born in 1985, but – I think it was a lot of cocaine. Probably, probably like a shit ton of acid. Yeah, and um, you know there was there was always weed. No, there was always weed. Man. That was in the fields. They just ran like fell and just <laughs> fell into it. But yeah, like it's on, All right. yeah, it's it's just getting back to this movie though. I realized today that I like the um, remake of this from 2003 better than the original. I always said I like the original better. By like it was like this and this, but it's like this and this for me, because I just love how dark and intense the the remake is. I but what I do love about this like is this is intense to an extent. It's not that gory. It has like a lot of off screen slash on screen stuff. Like you'll see something happen, but it doesn't really show you show you. Mm-hmm. Which I do think this is probably one of the better movies to do that. Well, and back I, in the seventies, they're pushing their limits, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because if they showed a lot of stuff they wanted to show, that yeah. be because it was the MPR ratings or whatever, some yeah, and it was actually made the theater, right? If it like went anymore, it wouldn't made theater. Yeah, and it would have it would it would have had to have been rated X. Yes, that's right, X back then. But me, then that's porn. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't understand that rating. Like, how do you go from, like, a rated R, which is pretty much cussing, violence, and showing some nudity, to rated X, which is, to me, is just all butt naked and fucking. Yeah. I don't know. But, I don't know. So, but, you know that, that the gas station is, in this movie is a real, like, it's a barbecue's place, I believe? Yeah, of human flesh? No, nah, not people anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It's a barbecue place, and I believe, I don't know if it's still a gas station or not, but I believe it's a barbecue spot, and people, when you see this video, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a barbecue spot, and I believe it's like a, um, like, you can go in there and, like, buy merchandise and shit, too, as well. Oh, okay, so it's like it has a gift shop? There you go, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I could not think of massacre it. stuff? Yeah, yeah, like, from, like, I think, like, items from the movie, not, obviously, not replicas from the movie, I guess, yeah. and, you know, stuff like that, which I think is dope. Back then for the seventies, that old man's makeup, the mask, wasn't bad for being in the seventies. That mask, not at all. Not at all. Oh, this this guy right here. Yeah, the old dude, the grandpa. Yeah. The Fuck. vampire. The fucker started sucking blood and he started fucking having seizures. Talking about he's the best killer here. He he's, he was garbage he with him. Could you hold up the hero because keep dropping? I was like, <laughs> I, see, I forgot those little minor things because it's been yeah. a while since I've seen this. It was uh, funny though. It was funny, but um, I, I I watched this on Tubi. I don't know what if you what platform you watched it on. It's on Tubi. I watched yeah. it on IMDb. Tu, Tubi has it. Um, I think Tubi has all the remakes. I want to do the remake. So I, here's the yeah. thing with this: there was um a remastered version of this 2014. I was going to watch that instead of this one, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to chance it in case it was the wrong movie. <laughs> so I said, "Fuck, I'm just going to do this one." Yeah. But uh, yeah. this is one of those movies, though, to where they show butts a lot. And the, the girls' butts a lot. And they're not like really fat asses. They just show, you know what I mean? Like, we're yeah. used to like a big. Anyway, I, that's not, that's besides the point, people. But no, this is one of those movies that I always bring up, though. Like, as far as the gritty look, I love the gritty look of it. Like, yeah. Which you kind of get it with this, actually, because it's not remastered, I guess. But, um, this fucking. Asshole in that wheelchair is poking holes in that van. Oh, I'd fucking push his ass right out down some damn stairs. <laughs> and the thing <laughs> is, the fake, well, whoever watches know that dude was involved, but he really didn't catch up to him. They, this is the house they are going, like, they're going that way anyway. Yeah. Then he came in afterwards, so people are like, oh, he's the main killer. No, it's not. Not at all. So it's like a whole fucking family. Yeah. Crazy ass white people, man. I'm telling you, you guys gotta be careful. Yeah. You know what to look for. But there was like comedy in it. Oh yeah, like yeah. The yeah. hammer part and the shit. And, uh, that was funny. And then the, the little bits with Franklin here and there, and the part, you know, the part where they left him downstairs, and he was just yelling, yeah, he, and <laughs> mad, and started rolling in his chair somewhere, and banged his knee into something. I was crying. It was annoying me when he just keep like it was like for five minutes straight, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my like, fuck okay we got it jesus oh uh, i remember watching this with my cousin shout out to my cousin michael and we were watching this together because we did like we did this episode earlier and i was calling him franklin because he's in a wheelchair too he was laughing <laughs> and we brought up the part where he was like Pfft. he was like yeah could you fucking regular ass people had to go upstairs and leave me downstairs <laughs> fuck y'all <laughs> that's a that's a fucked up move right there it is oh uh, but it was just like i like that green van as far like I wouldn't mind having a not a actual van of it, but like you know a little matchbox car of it or model car, which I know they have them. But um, yeah, I I like this movie a lot though. Like I said, I do like the original. I mean, sorry, I like the remake better. Watching after watching this one, I'm gonna watch the remake. Excuse me, soon, soonish, and probably do a podcast on it. But um, and I think just because the type of oh, real quick, I mean before I jump into this. Let me go back to what I was saying about the whole grittiness. That's why I always say like with the VHS look, like it would be dope if you can get it on Blu-ray or even streaming and have either the you know the crisp high definition look or whatever or have like the VHS look towards that kind of grimy look. This is movie is like perfect for that grimy look. And I feel even the remake would be dope with that grimy look, that grimy, gritty look. Because the remake would, was it Jessica Biel was the remake was really good. Like the more I think about it, that's I have always said it's one of the better remakes. But I think that is one of the remakes, in my opinion, that's better than the original. 
Mm. And I'm just realizing that now. And again, it's just because of how dark and crazy and wild it was. And yeah. like the cop, remember the cop from that one? He was fucking cool as shit. Just, I don't know, man. I, I just, I like this one a lot, though. Don't get me, again, I do really love this one. I do really appreciate it. It's a cult, definitely a cult classic. It's one of those movies that I feel, if you have not seen this for whatever reason, and I'm not going to say you're not a true horror fan, because I feel like if, as long as you love horror, you're a horror fan. You don't have to see every single damn movie. But um, this is one of those movies, if you haven't seen it, or if you're getting into horror, I think this is a good one to start out with. Excuse me. And I also feel really quick as far as getting into horror. It's 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 tame for as far as like it's not too gory, it's not too bloody. Um, there's no like the, in it. It's like the uh, one of the OGs of slashers too. Yeah. Oh yeah. 1974. I mean, it's it's. It was it was really good, man. It was good. Don't get me wrong. And it was fun. Like it's it's one of those movies to where you could watch it a few times a year. I mean, this is probably my first I think it's my first time watching it this year, but you could definitely watch this movie a few times a year. I would even go through the whole like start with this and go through the whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing. Which I eventually want to do for a countdown. Like I eventually watch them all, review them all, and then go through them again just to do like a countdown from my least favorite to my favorite. Which it'll happen. It's gonna happen. But uh yeah, man. This 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 yeah. fun one though. What do you think about this one, James? I, I like it. I always did. Um it was like one of the very first horrors I watched back in the day. Um until later on I found out stuff. They actually stole ideas from a real serial killer. I think the last name Gin or something like that. Um is from it's for the skin. So the serial killer, his mother died. And he was like obsessed with his mother, so it made him snap. He killed people, took their skin, to make a bodysuit so he can become his mother. Hmm. So now Leatherface, known for taking skin, he made the leather mask out of skin. But you don't see it much in this in the first one here, because it was the brother who was still in the body parts from the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, this seems like he was more obsessed with the bones, making furniture. You see shit hanging. There's like bones everywhere on the couch, like the arms of the couch. That's it's true. like the basically the only skin you've seen was maybe a couple um, lamp shades and his mask. That's true. And yeah, what you're saying, Ed, Edward Gein, Ed Gein. Yeah, um, Ed Gein. There you go. That's the man. Was, I won't say it was maybe very, very, very loosely based on him. Just like what you're saying, how they took like the body parts and stuff like that and the skin. And going back to the 2003 one, you know what I loved about it was how they made it seem like it was a, like if you watch the whole movie and you watch the deleted scenes and stuff, they make it seem like it's a documentary, like it really happened. Which yeah, I thought- like a true story. Like uh, there, if you bought the DV, I think my uncle had it. When you buy it, it had a map yeah. of the house and everything. It had a map. It had, um, cause I, ha- I had, I don't have news it. articles, like, news articles, pictures. Like it was really yeah. fucking cool. As a matter of fact, yeah. if I can find that again, I would definitely buy it. No, oh, well, yeah, it's dope. I tried to get it from him. He won't let me have it, even though he's not a horror fan. Whatever. Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, here goes James with his love for his family again. <laughs> yeah. right. Bring back memories of hate. But, um, okay, so I'm at the beginning, pretty much at the beginning of this movie, but, uh, like, I, you know what part annoyed me, though, with this one, which I realized today? The girl screaming. Yes, I was going to say that. It was, I was too say that. long. It was too like I get it. Don't get me wrong. I feel like if that's a real life situation, that's going to be your reaction, like freaking out and screaming. But it was just too much for me. Yeah, it's way too much. Even when she was like out cold, as soon as she opened her eyes, she didn't even like look around. See what's going on. She's like, as soon as her eyes opened, ah! <laughs> <laughs> scream. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, no, relax, breathe. And they just let her scream. I would have fucking hit her in the head with a human hand or something. Whatever the hell they're munching on. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Reckless freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. He had some funny things though. Oh like, yeah. Oh like, yeah. She was like, "Let's go look for him." It's like, "How the fuck am I going down there?" Let's like push him down the trail. Yeah. yeah. I want to know how he got down there. By the way, you know that big cliff where they slid down. Yeah. She the was pulling him and stuff, and then yeah, you can't roll down that steep fucking dirt hill. 
It'd be easier rolling down than up it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably just push them on a roll and put them back in the chair and say, let's go. Like, hey, when you, I don't know how you're going to get back No, up. it's for one. I'm going to tell you this, another thing. That girl, for even the skinny white girl, that was a lot of running. She had some stamina. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the tricky part. There's no fucking way that big, heavy set dude was keeping up with her with the stamina and not taking breaks. Hey, man. He, you know, that's a lot of running. You got to think, though. He can, he, he'll pick up, like, a dead body and hang a lot. Like, he probably hooks the one girl on the meat hook. He I don't know. bodies and runs, you know, he can run. <laughs> I don't know. It would have been more realistic if you see him stop and, like, put his hands on his knees, like, <sighs> take a couple big breaths and start running again. And you got to think, he knows that area, like, the back of his hands. So maybe he had a couple shortcuts to get it to. Maybe. They got to that gas station really quick. Oh, I'm like, Jesus did. Christ, he must have ran like 18 miles. <laughs> but they probably, sp- I mean, it, movie time, we don't know how long, how many hours passed in that movie, then I watched that part in the gas station when that dude's hitting her with the broom. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That was funny too, by the way. Like, how do you get yourself in these situations? Uh, that was funny. But this huh. was, this, this is another one of those horror movies to where people are, you fucking go somewhere, obviously you're lost, your car runs out of gas. You go into the movie. Who's this idea from this? I you have like all the hills have eyes. Yeah. When you go to the gas station, they're like, oh, don't go down that road. No, where are you guys going? No, go. Mm-hmm. No, look, it's a shortcut. And next you know, you're getting fucking raped and murdered. Yep. They're, they're trying to go to a watering hole. It's not there anymore, I believe. And it's. Oh, by the way, no offense against gays, but I think this whole house was gay. They had her tied up and everything, and try to like fill her up, grope her. Nothing. They just wanted to eat her. Yeah, I guess so. It was just dinner. It was like fucking go hunting for deer. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I, they, their minds weren't even on that. But they were all cr- like, I mean, the old man was old and decrepit. He ain't going to do nothing. The fucking. The rest of them, I don't know. Leatherface is crazy. The brother is nuts. And then no, he's got the he, old he's like meth, meth insane. Yeah. Like he's on drugs. That the killer is just he just killed so much and butchered people. He just has a one track mind. Yep. I'm gonna chainsaw your ass. <laughs> <sighs> then the fucking grandpa, I didn't know he was upstairs. Like, well, we see I seen the movie, but like if you've never seen before, they were up there. Anybody home? They didn't see a fucking old cryptic sitting in a fucking chair somewhere. Mm-hmm, it looked like he was mummified until yeah. he got a little taste of blood. The motherfucker just woke up like he was fucking Dracula. <laughs> So fucking true, man. So fucking <laughs> true with that. And th- this movie really That's didn't... a good movie, though. I like it. It is. It didn't seem like it was that long. Like, oh, it didn't. I thought it was longer back in the day. For some reason, I was like, oh, this shit's like fucking two and a half hours or something. I thought it was longer. And then, like, I thought it was a little gorier. Just just a tad a bit gorier. A little bit. Oh, oh, shit. And I was wrong on both. But uh, it's again, like I said, it's, it's it's a cult classic. I feel you have to see it. I'm not gonna say if you don't see it, you're not a fan yeah. of horror. But you do. This is one of the movies you do have to see it. And this, I like this part right here, where they show all those cars, and like the, you know, in the in, well, in the that's field. Probably killed more people. That's yeah. just like like one of the other movies where they hide the cars of the killer. Yeah, the the Hills Have Eyes, the newer Texas Chainsaw Massacre from '03. And it's just, I just find it so weird how people are so comfortable just fucking walking around someone's property like this. Like, there's nothing, you know what I mean? Like, nothing's going to happen. Like, oh, yeah, this is, it may look abandoned, but then you start seeing shit. I'm like, holy shit, this ain't abandoned. I got to go. Yeah, fuck that. Especially that, true. Like, I don't care if it was a normal family, okay? Say they're not killers. If you see a house that's like that fucking busted old, like it shouldn't, no one should be living there, and there's one generator running, get the fuck out of there. That family is something up. We're talking about moonshiners, <laughs> something you don't want because they could be growing meth. You don't want to walk in a meth house because you're gonna die. You can't go. They don't want you to be a witness. And then I was, I was you know. also thinking like, um, <laughs> I mean, I know why they're going. They're going there because they're looking for gas. Because the van ran out of gas or whatever, and the guy just took the tip off the fucking generator and ran. Could have. <laughs> the guy was talking about like trading his guitar till he gets money or some shit. Yeah. And I'm just, I don't know, man. It's just crazy because they, I mean, they they see certain shit and it's like it doesn't click for a while. Like the dude's nope. picking a tooth up right now. White people have too much trust. 
Too much stress? Trust. Oh, trust. I guess so. Except for when it comes to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is in the Sunday, so it was yeah. probably all white neighborhood. And then, like, the dude knocks on the door, he ends up walking in the house. Because the door. Yeah. You don't do that. No, you don't. Even if the fucking door swings you, you don't go hell and walk in someone's house. You stay there and stick your head and go, hello. You don't fucking walk in. Can we sit this guy on shower butt naked? Yeah, man, I'd be so mad. Imagine the grandpa butt naked just getting on the shower right there. Yeah. You're like, Jesus Christ. She's just chilling on that damn swing. He's going inside. And this is the part, I mean, it know happens in a few minutes, but where he gets hit in the back of the head with the hammer, which I thought was dope. Yeah, that was good. He, then he just slams the door, which I just love that. Like, I... This movie did everything right. Yep. I feel for its time, it did everything right. It kept. I understand, like the seventies, you can only show and do so much. Like the chainsaw, I wish they showed it. Like nowadays, they'll show the chainsaw. They like, showed. Oh, you mean like actually cutting? Like really? Yeah, they showed like he was going to it, but then it cuts off screen. You know, when he's actually chopping body body parts off. Yeah, that, and that's why I love the O three version. So here's my car right here. It's with the bomb. The hammer. <laughs> And the way he falls, he like spins and falls, and his legs are twitching, his body's twitching. See, that's like a realistic fall too. Like, like most people get hit in the head like straight on, they just fall back. You're like, your body just not just gonna stiffen and fall back. It's gonna yeah. twist a little bit. You're gonna have some fucked up fall. Yeah. You're gonna break a leg or something when you're falling after that. Something. We definitely gotta do the O three version. Like, yeah. maybe the next movie we do, possibly because this shit is just. It's epic, and then I like I said, the O three version. I know they take some se- similar scenes. Right? That's not shot for shot, no way near shot for shot. But there's like certain things they do, in the in that one that they like make it more intense. Yeah, I mean, when they pick up a hitchhiker chick, for one, she pulls the gun out of her crotch and shoots herself in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Wasn't well, she? She's from the family, though, isn't it? I'm not. Why, sure. You want to escape the family? She wanted to escape it. I'm not sure. I forgot if she was with the family or not. But the funny part about that was when the cop seen her, they're asking her about it. Like, was, were they messing with her or feeling her up when she was dead? I'm like, what the hell? Oh, oh, oh man. You put that up there. I understand babies come out of there, but no daily task. You wake up and just shove a gun up there. Nah. Nope. Jesus Christ. So sorry for her boyfriend. Well, not anymore. She's dead. <laughs> But uh, like this, that like we gotta definitely do that one because that yeah. one was just fucking. That was, that was that was a that was a fun one. That was a good remake. That was one of the good remakes. Yeah, hell yeah. Mess up on. Hell yeah. But then you had <laughs> then skipping towards the end. Not really. I'm just talking about the last end scene. Motherfucker, it's like they have like a lot of um, gifts or gifs, what people call it, of his <laughs> chainsaw dance. You know, he swings oh. it around. Yeah. yeah, like a little dance. And yelling. Yeah. Spinning around yelling. Yeah, that blue truck saved her, man. Yeah. Whatever happened to the people? Why didn't he chase the fucking truck driver? He wasn't at, he wasn't at, because he was after the girl. Because it's, yo, the truck driver took off. <laughs> yo, yo, I would have just closed it. I would have, like, got the truck in gear and started taking off or something. The motherfucker just goes and gets on. He starts running. Well, like, I think because he, I, he wanted to get in the truck, I think the, I think Leatherface started going after him a little bit and he was like, fuck this, and just ran. Yeah. And uh, the girl, I mean, the girl got saved because of what, the blue truck. Because that, I mean, if the truck driver had gotten there as she's getting chased and just ran him over, that would have been some shit. But then it would have ended like, uh, he ran him over. Well, she ran, yeah, she ran over, he ran over the brother. That's true. That's true. That was a good run over, by the way. Oh, you know what it was? Leatherface came out a little bit later, I believe. Yeah. A tad bit later, and that's what happened. The meth head brother. That was a good uh, run over. Body, like, flapped a little bit. Yeah, the, that's the true. The tires running over. It's pretty good. This movie, though, I mean... They... It's a fun movie. It's, like, classic. It's, like, it brings you back when you're younger. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh, and for oh. all the young people who are just getting into horror or they're in their 20s and everything they've never seen this, if you like, especially if you like slashers, go watch this, because this is, like, one of the very first ones that ever came out. Yeah, and this this is one of the ones to where I mean, I know some people like they want to get their kids into horror. Minus the language, because there's some swearing in here. I don't remember mm. how much, but minus the language, there's no nudity or nothing. There's not too much blood and gore, so it's not like that. Oh, he's about to yoke this bitch up. Yeah, no, this would be a good one. 
bringing her back to that kitchen. Where the fuck you think you're going? My dinner ain't ready. <laughs> That's what this picture is about. <laughs> like, where the fuck? You're not going out with your friends. You didn't make me dinner yet, bitch. Oh, you know what was funny is when people made the meme of cash me outside. Oh, <laughs> they used that shit. And they put her on that hook. And that's bothering me a little bit too. I'm sorry to tell you, if someone put a hook through my back, I'm going to make way more noise than that. Yeah, yeah. It was... Her body could have went into shock though, but I don't know. I don't, it, I don't know. But yeah... Again, like with the newer one, when he puts the guy on hook, it's so much more violent and just gruesome. Yeah, it's like he launches him up, like like yeah. power lifting, just. Like and he, I believe he cuts off one of his legs. Yeah. And then puts salt on it. Yeah, see so that one. That one does have way more. Like, yeah. Way more. It's it's pretty good. It's like more torturous. Yeah. But again, this is from '74, so they they did what they could. They did a great job for what they could. Yeah. I'm and not going to say you that. Hate, you can't hate the old movies where they had limits. Yeah, exactly. And I feel with this, again, a lot of it was because of the ratings that they would have had to have done back then. Yep. But they did an excellent job with this movie. And speaking of ratings, I'm damn near ready to jump into the ratings myself. Oh, let's see. What should we call this? Uh, the shit. Classic chainsaw? How many chainsaws? Or the leather face? How do you want? We could do that for this one because I'll think of something funny for the next for O three. So from negative ten to a positive ten. How many chainsaws would you give this movie? Okay, because it's a classic. I like it. It's fun. It brings me back memories. It's like one of the originals where I can watch more than once a oh, year. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to. I'm gonna say it's not perfect. I, I, I'm gonna give it a nine. Nice, nice. I wasn't expecting that from you. Yeah. No, I really like this. The original, I, I really liked it. I do too, and I'm actually right with you on that with the nine. And I just, it was, it was done so good. It's, it's a cult classic. It's something you can watch more than once in a year. And I mean, again, if you have not seen this. If you're someone who wants to get a friend or a family member, or even, like I said, your kid, depending on what you let your child watch, into horror, I feel like this is a really, really good start and kind of go from there. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely Star Sturdy's stamp of approval and all that other fun stuff. I've seen this movie before, so it can't be on that one list, which I got to really start working on, I guess. But, um, hell, yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really good movie. And... Again, people, where you can find me, or Research Sturdy on YouTube, or Research Sturdy, all the smaller podcast platforms. Um, and check out the Z Network on YouTube as well, because this episode will be on the Horror Research Sturdy page, as well as the Z Network page on YouTube and Facebook, the Facebook group, which, again, I'll talk about the Z Network more and more as things go on, as more things come out. But what I can say is there's going to be more than just horror on there. Like I told you guys earlier, there's going to be... I mean, I have my horror podcast on there, of course. We have a couple other horror podcasts on there. Um, let's see. We're going to have some educational slash entertainment videos. Like everything, everything on here is good. Everything on the Z Network is going to be entertaining. And there's going to be some things that are going to be entertaining and educational. You're not going to get that from me <laughs> because I'm doing this. I mean, if, I'm, if you want to count horror as educational, then I'll, I'll say that. And other, like, movies and interviews that I do, you'll get some educational things from that. But for the most part, mine's going to be, like, my show, my Horror Search 30 show. It's going to be how it always was. And then the unnamed movie one is going to be – it's going to be different because it's actually going to have different hosts. It's going to be different personalities. So it'll be different, which I think will be pretty cool. But, I mean, I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Again, Horror Research 30 on Facebook group. Feel free to share anything and everything horror-related, including your own projects. Horror Research 30 Facebook page. Give that a like because the Horror Research 30 podcast will still be being dropped there. Um, Horror Research 30 on YouTube. If you ever want to be a guest on this podcast, shoot me an email, horrorresearch.sturdy. Again, that's horrorresearch.sturdy at gmail.com. 
Twitch horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy, which I have another Z network exclusive for this. Listen to this now, people. So what my brother and I are going to start doing on Twitch, which I'm going to do this even before, because I don't have my Twitch camera shit set up yet. I have to do a few other things to have the sound and all, you know, with the audio, mainly because the audio stuff with that. So you guys can hear me and see me, which I'll figure out eventually. But what we're going to be doing on there is reviewing bad horror movies as we're, you know, we drink, we smoke and we're gaming. So we're going to be reviewing bad horror movies, which is going to be very, very entertaining. James has heard us conversate on there. (laughs) Your first episode, you got to have them do uh, Blood Lake. (laughs) Oh, shit. We already have a movie picked out. I'll tell you once we're done recording. But um, we're just going to... And the way we want to do it, like me and him will pick movies, but if you guys have any requests of bad horror movies, like shitty horror movies and it doesn't have to be big name it could be indie to big name or whatever we're gonna give our thoughts on it as we're gaming and i think it's gonna be fun and funny i know it's gonna be fun and funny because it's just more content out there and that will be a z network exclusive it'll be under the horror research 30 playlist but it'll be like a i'll just upload it to the z network as far as now i think because i just think that'll be dope but um yeah so just check it out people we have some other cool stuff with the Z network and some, you know, in general, which as more things come out, I will let you guys know. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. And as always, I'll see you.